In this video, we will showcase three municipalities that have made steady progress since attending the Municipal SSEG Support Programme. There is a growing trend around South Africa for customers to install small generators such as solar photovoltaic or PV systems on their properties. These generators are typically connected to the grid behind the meter, making them embedded and less than one megawatt, making them small. Hence the term small scale embedded generation or SSEG for short. As of the middle of 2020, it is estimated that there were tens of thousands such small systems in place amongst municipal distributors, totaling at least 400 megawatts. And these numbers are growing steadily. The increasing presence of SSEG on networks is a reality that all municipal distributors have to adjust to. Since 2017, the DMRE, SALGA, and the GIZ have been delivering a municipal SSEG support program that helps South African municipalities cope with this energy transition. More than 61 municipalities have joined the program all across South Africa. Many municipalities have made great progress towards the implementation of SSEG processes. In this video, we will follow the journey of three such municipalities. Koha Municipality, supplying the towns of Jeffreys Bay, Humansdorp, and St. Francis Bay in the Eastern Cape, has seen high uptake of SSEG recently. We realize that this is coming, this is big, people are installing and, uh, and we don't have control over it as yet. And we're moving into new times now and we must adapt to the new way of doing things. And uh, I hope you will succeed as one of the best municipalities in this country, in this. <laughs> Emalahleni Municipality is in Pumalanga. This is where most of ESCOM's coal generators are situated. SSEG installations are also accelerating in this municipality. Solar is inevitable uh, technology. I mean, the sun is abundant in a place like Woodbank, and we have industries which actually want to move into solar. Bitu Municipality, supplying the coastal town of Plet and Nature's Valley, is a luxury holiday destination for South Africans. Solar energy generation has become attractive to a lot of businesses in this area. Here we are at Plat Mall with 440 kVA uh, connection. That is the second uh, biggest SSCG connection we have in Peter. The first one is at Market Square, 600 kVA. In the last few years, it is clear that these municipalities have seen increased interest in the number of customers wanting to install SSEG on their properties. We knew about the PV uh, SSEGs in the country, but we never thought it will hit us, Koha municipality, in the way it came through over the last two years. The number of systems we, we have in town, the last count was about 130 uh, and it's been growing, growing over the last two years immensely. Our biggest application is Highland Muse and it's for 828 kVA. The biggest system we know of is currently being installed of an out, uh, uh, about 950 uh, kilowatt. 
yeah, bigger things are happening moving forward uh, in our region, Goha. Some of these customers install SSEG systems without notifying the municipality. These systems can result in safety and power quality concerns. We found out that there are many uh, customers connected illegally. We discovered most people, their meters are running back. We, we started investigating these things. Uh, so when we went to these houses, we realized that there's something else going on. Yes. There's a PV panel on the roof and people are generating electricity. Now we had a customer base which was actually frustrated and we were still in the process of designing proper processes and building proper conviction. Because of these issues that were becoming apparent, the municipalities quickly realized that they needed to have processes in place to regulate these systems. We had no processes in place, we had no application processes, we had no um, specifications in terms of um, requirements, documents, we had nothing. We were blank and we had engineers bombard us with technical questions that we couldn't answer at the time. To support the municipalities in responding to the SSEG challenges they were facing, a municipal SSEG support program was developed. At the heart of this program is a five-day intensive training which allows municipalities to develop policies, tariffs and bylaws and provides them with a set of standards to process SSEG applications. The training is facilitated by Sustainable Energy Africa and the Solar Training Center. From where we were, we knew nothing about SSEG. I mean, we had no clue um, as to what I mean, where to start, where to go. So the training we received and the level of engagement we received post-training was, was, was pivotal. We actually didn't know what to do or what questions to ask because we were not familiar with all the work that is done, all the procedures and everything. Everything I know about SSEG, I learned from the GIZ team. So like proper engagement actually assists and helps small users. We attended the course, it was an informative course, it was, uh, <laughs> it was big. You would go to your hotel room very exhausted, uh, but it was good because we needed to grasp as much as possible so that we can come and implement in our municipality. It was a lot of communication, interaction, participating in training, share ideas amongst municipalities. So, Training, interaction, all of that was very important. That's what drove me to where we are uh, at this stage. In order to practically implement the knowledge from the training, the program provides ongoing assistance to municipalities. This includes access to remote technical support, specialist training, and peer-to-peer -peer learning opportunities with other partner municipalities. So after the training, we came back with documents, policies, bylaws, but now we still needed clarity as to how to understand and possibly implement like these things. That's where people like Mr. Josh came into play. I mean, I used to call them after hours. I, I, I called during the day. I, 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 I was bothering everyone. And um, this was, was very instrumental in assisting the municipality in creating the entire framework. If you don't understand something or you just lost contact, see ya guys, they will assist you. With the challenges that we had, uh, we never actually delayed the processes because he was always there to assist. After everything, I mean, through a lot of engagement with the GIZ team, everything worked out. Everything worked out. We had proper conviction, we knew what we were doing, and when we engaged the community, we, we, we had proper working documents that could actually communicate what we intended them to.
For new municipalities looking to build capacity in this area, we asked these three champion municipalities what key lessons they obtained from their experience and what recommendations they would give to other municipalities. The kind of advice that I will give to other municipalities that's also starting with this now uh, is to be proactive. You know, when you see the first system, start acting on that. Speak to other municipalities, participate in training programs. Go for training, ask questions, um, learn from other municipalities. I, 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 I borrowed ideas from surrounding municipalities who had actually undergone the SSCG process before us. The important part is to put a procedure that will work for your municipality, make a proper uh, uh, application procedure so you will go right. So for another municipality, participate in these things. You, you can't lose anything by participating. If you would like more information on how to develop an SSEG process for your municipality, you can look on the Municipal SSEG Support Resource website, www.sseg.org.za. Looking forward to having you become a partner in the program.